What is up everyone? This is your buddy Dragonjuice27 and I'm here with an awesome Wi-Fi battle against Heidi Tech Yo Yo. We finally made it. I got it all sorted out and let's get into it. It was an NU battle and it was a team I've never used before, but it was definitely Definitely a fun time. I hope you guys get benefit out of the sidebars on the left. And let's get started here. Hopefully I will do more in the future. It's all up to you guys whether you want to see it or not. So we were challenged by Caterpie and you guys should definitely get that reference. I'm going to lead off with my Swellow. He's going to lead off with his Laron. And now, okay, I'm predicting some Rock type move. Maybe Stone Edge. But whatever it is, I have to switch out because I cannot deal any damage to that Porcupine. I switch out into Fight Night because we have Earthquake and Close Combat, which are both super effective on Porcupine. He goes for the Stealth Rock, which is a very good move and it damages all my team quite a bit. It's super effective on Swellow, which means it does 25% damage and a lot of my other team members. But you guys will see how that damages me in the future. I go for the Earthquake because I know Fight Night is incredibly, incredibly powerful with over 380 attack, max attack, and a choice band. So we are locked into Earthquake, but that is better because I thought I may want to stay in. If I use close combat, my defense and special defense would be lower, lowered, and I may not want to stay in. So here we have Pasta, and I know Pasta is going to mess me up with some status conditions or something because that is what grass Pokemon do. He goes for the Stun Spore. I really wish it was Sleep Powder or something. Even Poison Powder, whatever. It wouldn't affect Iron Lotus, but... Um, Paralysis, no, I do not want that, especially since Iron Lotus would, could be my sweeper very easily. The power, the strength of Iron Lotus is pretty high attack, very high defense, and it has this awesome status upping move, which raises speed by two stages and attack by one stage. So basically it's like a dragon dance on steroids and it's called shift gear. And I really wish I could set up with it, and I still try to set up with it with the sub and all. However, the paralysis it cuts my speed in half, which means that I have nothing to do. And now his KFC has an ability which makes him a perfect sweeper, and you need to get on top of him before he can get on top of you. And it really gets out of hand really quickly, KFC's uh, strength, because you'll see. So our speed is up two stages, attack up one. We'll go for the return now, which will be 100 base power. Our attack is quite high now with one stage increased. However, it probably won't take out KFC. He goes for the Sky Uppercut. I'm not really scared of that so much. I'm more scared of like Fire Blast or something. Because Iron Lotus has really high defense, but not so high special defense. So here we go. I go for the return because we do attack second despite... Despite the shift gear, which is really bad, that paralysis really fucked me up in this game. However, now I know I have to switch out because we won't get a sub out in time. And KFC has this ability called, called speed boost, just like Yan Mega, which means at the end of each turn, your speed increases. So now, she probably will even outspeed my Swellow, which is pretty amazing. And I switch out to Sea Snake because I'm predicting a fire type move, probably Fire Blast. And Sea Snake is so especially defensive. He goes for the Flare Blitz, which does recoil on itself. And although Garibus' defense isn't incredibly high, it's pretty damn high. So our speed is low, and now I made a really huge mistake here. A really bad mistake. I completely ignored the speed boost, and I thought if I could get off a Shell Smash, I would be able to outspeed KFC and be set up to sweep, because we have the White Herb, which will... Um, heal those defenses, special defense, lowering thingamajig. So, we go for a shell smash. I don't even know how we can do that, but it's awesome. So our attack, special attack, and speed are all up one stage now. Which is huge for us, very important for us, because we have Surf, Ice Beam, which are our two main moves. I think we even have Waterfall, I'm not sure, but we are very specially powerful. If we use a special attack, it'll pretty much sweep. If we got one Surf off, right, then we could have taken down KFC. But now we're pretty much going to die because he goes for the Sky Uppercut. And oh my god, I feel so bad for Heidi right now because he missed the Sky Uppercut. Which meant that I could use Surf. And Goribus is pretty much set up to sweep. And KFC went down. They not really sweep, but set up with one special attack boost and a speed boost. So we can probably even outspeed Mirror B, which is his next Pokemon. 
I love that reference, man. So I go for the Ice Beam, and oh, it does a lot of damage thanks to that special attack boost. But it won't be able to take him out because Mirror Beam is very specially defensive, and Ice Beam isn't a stab move, nor is it super effective. He goes for the Skull in case I did want to switch out, but Sea Snake was at her prime form with that Shell Smash Up. I would never switch her out. So, we are doing pretty well here. I think the score, you can see the score in the upper bar thing. I hope you guys enjoy the sidebars, by the way. I spent quite a bit of time on them. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you showed your support with a like or something. So, the stones dug into Predator, and that did quite a bit of damage. 25%, as I said, because we are um, not resistant to rock types. We are actually really, it's a bad matchup. So I switch back out because I used U turn, because I was predicting Mirror B to switch, and if he didn't switch, I wanted to get the hell out of there because I knew Mirror B would carry Ice Beam, but he goes for Toxic and this really confused me because if I stayed in with Swellow, I was going to poison myself anyway with my Toxic Orb, which boosts the power of Fusade to double damage to 140 base power and it's a slab move so that would pretty much sweep everyone. And our Guts ability activates when we are poisoned or have some status condition activated. Which means I would sweep with Swellow. However, I switched out because I thought he would use Ice Beam. It was such a mindfuck for me. Maybe he over. Maybe he predicted my switch. I'm not sure. I have no idea. So I go out into Rage Quit, which the only purpose of Rage Quit is basically to fuck things up for people. Like Thunder Wave them, Confuse Ray. Um, we do have one. Uh, flying type move, but it really didn't do too much damage. Thankfully, it was super effective. That's why I did so much But here I can't really do anything. I'm gonna have to switch out and we're gonna switch out into Let's think about it. I'm gonna switch out into Iron Lotus because we do have that paralysis, but I figured Prancer probably can't hit us and I made the very big mistake because I thought and how the hell can he use sucker punch? Like check out his hooves like who punches people with hooves anyway? I'm getting off topic I thought we could set up a lot of shift gears because Prancer can't damage us, but I forgot about Jump Kick, which was super effective. And although we do have high defense, it took us down to 12 HP. I'm amazed that we lived it. It was kind of lucky. But the sad thing was, I went for a shift gear when I could have gone for a return to deal at least some damage. But that paralysis is really a huge problem for me. Thankfully, we didn't get... Uh, paralyzed and we still were able to move each turn which which was pretty lucky however it lowers our speed which completely ruins Iron Lotus chances to sweep so another jump kick to the face and uh, there was no if it missed again that would be I didn't want it even to miss again because that would be so unfair so Iron Lotus is, has fainted and I think it's pretty much 4 to 3 and I didn't tell you guys this but I am using a completely NU team except for one Pokemon in my team Mesprit which is now RU which means rarely used Then they're like one tier apart like RU is better than NU which means that it was kind of unfair that I used it however Heidi was nice enough to say go ahead I'll give you this one but um just to be fair, I didn't want to use it in the battle, and I tried my best not to use it. I go for the close combat, and Pasta is very specially defensive, but well, I, I got the crit, which really I'm not happy about. But I'm thinking about it, and with a choice band, we were choice banded, we have over 380 attack. Close combat is a stab move, which boosts his power to 180 base power. Even with high defense and without the crit, I think we probably would be able to take out that Tangela. I'm not sure. I didn't do any calculations, but anyway, but if we didn't, our special defense would have been lowered. He could have gone for a Giga Drain or something to really do a lot of damage to us because that would heal him, him up. And because our special defense was lowered, it would do quite a bit of damage to us. So he goes for the Brick Break. Not really anything to do with the Cricketune. He said he brought it in here for like laughs and stuff, but... Um, yeah, why would you, like, Cricketune is honestly the worst Pokemon, like, even the resisted close combat almost took him out. Like, he took him down to 1 HP, which is really, really bad for him. So here we go, now we're probably 4 to 1 right now. And, oh, this is so bad. He sends out Prancer because that's the only Pokemon he has left. And, okay, our defense and special defense are incredibly no low now. We've spammed close combat three times, which... 
has reduced state defense and special defense both three stages. So even the not very effective Sucker Punch can take us out. That was a good move by Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. I was kind of predicting it, but you know, we had four Pokemon left and if I switched out, we just waste time. And yeah, we were locked into close combat. So here we go. Predator will now finish off Prancer. I knew a Sucker Punch couldn't take me out because it's not even a stab move. I go for the Brave Bird and it's good game, Hardy. I thank you so much for the opportunity to battle with you. It was a lot of fun. I hope you can do it sometime in the future. Maybe when you're more serious about your team. Like, um, I made a proper hardcore team and he made probably not as great of a team. So there's the team preview at the end. Mesprit, yeah, no. No more Mesprit and then you. So, I actually enjoyed that and hopefully there will be more Wi-Fi battles in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed all the sidebars. And I hope it was fun for you. So for now, guys, bye. And peace out.